Today we are going to start with the concept of standard deviation. Now it is a very important topic in mostly class 11 and class 12 syllabuses also applicable for CPT exams and a lot of BCom exams also. So depends on what whatever you are pursuing but standard deviation is a very important topic and consists of uh, approximately 5 to 10 marks depending on your course for your respective exam. Now regarding standard deviation let me tell you beforehand you need to know arithmetic mean in the best possible manner. If you don't know arithmetic mean check out the other video for arithmetic mean complete it and if you already know it well and good we'll start with the concept of standard deviation. Now before explaining standard deviation let me tell you there are some topics in statistics which are better understood with uh, understanding the definition itself like if you know what mean is it will be helpful in the computation also if you know what mode is it will be helpful in computation also but there is not much help if you mug up the definition of standard deviation if you try to understand standard deviation it will take you a lot of more much more time you know it will consume more time than what time it will take you to just learn up the formula and do the sum so i will recommend you directly start off doing the sums with the formula and during the course of time you get to understand the formulas better or the sums better but first all you need to con get concerned about is the marks that you have to score and then regarding the concept you can do it anytime you want okay so first in tough topics like standard deviation index numbers or whatever be it i'd recommend first go with the formula mug it up start off with the sums and then you'll gradually get the concept cleared okay so we'll start off with the concept of sd or standard deviation now standard deviation short form sd is denoted by the alphabet sigma now many people have this confusion whether this is sigma or this is sigma this is summation and this is sigma so sigma is standard deviation summation is the sum total of a given series now there are a lot of formulas concerning standard deviation a whole lot of formulas approximately sometimes in a book uh, six to seven formulas are present actual mean method direct mean method continuous series method grouped method ungrouped method but there is a very short and easy way to get along with standard deviation with just two formulas only two formulas are required in total to cover up standard deviation yes there are complexities there are complex formulas sometimes in your board they recommend you to do it in a tougher manner but the easiest two methods direct methods to directly get the marks in any higher secondary exam there are only just two formulas that you need to learn no other formulas okay now these formulas will work on a very nice suggestion basis as in there will be only some sums that are expected to come as in continuous series sums are most mostly expected to come in frequency distribution or in standard deviation sums those are basically five mark sums or six mark sums as per your syllabus so we already sketch out whatever is going to come and we leave out whatever is not going to come so you need to exclude those from your syllabus yourself even though the school or the college will tell you to you know mug up all the formulas just directly learn these two formulas and you'll automatically see it's like 90 percent helpful in your entire syllabus okay so the first formula that is applicable for individual series is standard deviation is equal to root over summation d square by n this is the first formula and the second formula for continuous series or grouped method whatever they call it
make this capital N root over summation FD square by capital N minus within brackets summation FD by N whole square this has a particular difference this whole square means another thing and this square means another thing this means either mein koi n ke upar kuch square nahi hai no squares are required over total number of frequency now beforehand before in the previous topics and previous classes i have told you the difference between small n and capital n just a brief recap small n is equal to number of observations and capital n is equal to total of frequency so let's take up a sum first for individual series we'll write down the formula here it's always better to write the formula at least once in your sum whenever you are doing the, a statistical based sum or even a mathematical sum you know the teachers prefer that you at least write down the formula once sometimes they give you step marking for this keep that in mind so let's take any series say the given number of series is say find the standard deviation of say 5 10 25 30 50 this is the question that we have the best way to solve a statistical problem is in tabular format hence we'll make since only the, the, these series are given these numbers are given we'll create a series out of it 5 10 25 30 50 we already know n here is equal to number of observations and here the number of observations is equal to 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 total numbers have been given 5 observations now what do we need is d d is equal to deviation or x minus x bar x minus x bar means here x bar is equal to the mean of the series if you still don't know what mean is please go check out the mean video and now i'm assuming if you know mean first we'll find out mean in the same method we used to do mean in uh, individual series so the formula for finding out mean or x bar is in individual series summation x by small n total of this series find out 5 plus 10 plus 25 plus 30 plus 50 it's coming down to 120 120 by 5 24 this is the arithmetic mean that we need so now we can prepare another column d which is equal to x minus x bar it's always prefer to write it down here what the formula is for and now 5 minus 24 individually try it yourself since we require summation d square that means we need to find out the squares of each and every deviation so 19 uh, minus 19 square minus 14 square now whenever we are trying to square a negative digit it automatically converts into a positive one because negative negative is positive So three sixty one, one ninety six, one thirty six, 
and 676 the total of all these numbers will give us summation d square calculate the total one two seven zero check if it is right or wrong one two seven zero it's coming down to one two seven zero done now we will use the formula this formula so sd is equal to root over one two seven zero by small n what is small n here five Total number of observations, 5, start dividing, first divide then try the square root. Use calculators if allowed, if not use the long method for calculation. approximately 15.937 15.937 so what we are doing here is basically <clears throat> standard deviation first you have to write down the formula then you'll only have to find out whatever is required sometimes i've seen people trying to find out extra columns or not being able to judge sometimes you might also face the same problem about judging what values we require whether to total this column or not the best answer to this is check the formula separate out individual units that you need here only what we need is summation d square and the small n nothing else so small n is 5 for summation d square first you need to find out d but did they ask for a summation d or anything so you don't need to total this it's useless so first find out d then d square pehle d nikal lijiye fir d square squares ka total 1270 fir divide kar dijiye number of observations uske baad uska square root calculator allowed to well and good that that will be very easy अगर नहीं अलाउड है तो शुरू से आप लोग प्रैक्टिस करो विदाउट कैलकुलेटर नहीं तो एग्जाम में बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट हो जाएगा ठीक है नहीं आता अगर कैलकुलेट करना तो प्लीज किसी से सीख लीजिए कोई फ्रेंड से देल गाइड यू विद इट ये पूरा मेथड क्लियर दिस इज वेरी इजी सो नेक्स्ट विल बी टेकिंग अप कंटिन्यूअस सीरीज कंटिन्यूस सीरीज का फॉर्मूला आप लोग लिख लो Now, in this particular observation, in this particular uh, equation, there is something important. Here we have written summation fd square by n. I need to focus on this thing for a moment because here what we mean is summation of frequency multiplied by deviation square. Many people multiply f and d and this square square it up and then find out the total that is wrong that is not what we want what we want is frequency multiplied with deviation square so we need to find out d first then square up the d multiply it with f and then find out the total we don't need to square it up together फर्स्ट डी देन डी स्क्वायर पहले डी पहले खाली डी निकालेंगे फिर डी स्क्वायर निकालेंगे उसको फ्रीक्वेंसी से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे फिर उसका टोटल निकालेंगे ठीक है यहां पर एफ डी स्क्वायर का मतलब एफ इन टू डी स्क्वायर ठीक है सम करेंगे और क्लियर हो जाएगा मगर आपको याद रखना है ये टोटल इस पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जर्वेशन का स्क्वायर नहीं है ठीक है 
स्टार्ट करते हैं एक इजी सा एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं बेस्ट प्रेफर्ड है आप लोग भी साथ साथ में करो सॉल्व इट अकॉर्डिंग टू वट आई एम राइटिंग ऑन बोर्ड इट विल बी मच मोर बेटर फॉर यू क्लास फ्रीक्वेंसी दीज टू आर यूजली गिवेन जीरो टू टेन टेन टू ट्वेंटी आई टेक एनी जस्ट रैंडम नंबर्स फाइन दिस सम इज नो रेफरेंस फ्रॉम एनी बुक सो जस्ट मेड अप सो नेक्स्ट वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड हियर इज एफ इज गिवेन What we need to find here is x. X usually denotes mid value. So ten plus zero, ten divided by two, five. Ten plus twenty, thirty divided by two, fifteen. Twenty plus thirty, fifty divided by two, twenty-five. Similarly, these. Fine. Keep following whatever I am trying to say. Next, we need d. What was the formula for d? Same in last sum, x minus x bar. What is x bar? The arithmetic mean. What is the formula for continuous series for arithmetic mean? Direct method summation f x by capital N. What do you mean by capital N? Total frequency. What is the total frequency here? Ten. Summation f x. So we need to find out f x also. For now, I'll just erase the formula. Let's find f x first. That means f multiplied with x. One into five. Fifteen into two, twenty-five into three, thirty-five into three. Go on, keep doing this. Total of f x. Compute two sixty. So two sixty divided by ten gives us twenty-six. This is the arithmetic mean. So now here five minus twenty six. Twenty six is the arithmetic mean that we got here. D is equal to x minus arithmetic mean. X is five here. Five minus twenty six is <clears throat> minus twenty one. Then again fifteen minus twenty six. Twenty five minus twenty six. Individually we'll have to write down. The more you write, the more chances of not cutting off your marks. <clears throat> Sorry. So the question is, I'll put the formula here now. Do we require the summation of d? Answer is no. Do we require the summation of x? Answer is no. So you'll have to judge. Whether to compute the total or not. Till now, these were required. We took up the answers of these, but this is not required. This is not required. So we'll not get into the computation of the same because in exams we'll have a very short time in hand for these silly computations. We cannot waste time. No extra marks are provided for it. No extra marks are cut for it. Fine. So we have D right now. What we require now is F D. D square and F D square. We have capital N. So first, anything you can do, I'll start off with. Uh, say F D. Do not confuse between the columns. So minus twenty one into one, same. Minus eleven into two, minus twenty two, minus one, minus three. 
2719. We need to compute the total for this. Next, find out d square. That means minus 21 into minus 21, minus 11 into minus 11. Start doing it. Then total of this. Total of d square is not required. Total of d square is not required. We need the total of fd square. So make another column fd square. So many columns are coming in. You need to manage it properly. अच्छे से ख्याल रखिएगा कि आप कौन सा कॉलम को किसके साथ मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हो. एक बार एक छोटा सा मिस्टेक हो गया आपका पूरा five marks गया. What what does the examiner want? An answer, a simple answer. Approximation भी चलता है उसमें आगे. Answer में भी आगे पीछे होगा. लेकिन ज़्यादा off scale चले गए कुछ गलत हो गया step marking एक for an examiner already to see so many figures is irritating. You cannot expect or fight for step marking in these things. If you are doing statistics, either do the complete uh, chapter properly or just have the theory portion in control. Don't leave it halfway. So FD square, start multiplying frequency with D square. So 1 into 441. Now this is a big board. So I am being able to manage it. Even if I cut down on my handwriting, I'll be able to manage. In your copy, if you cannot handle it in the portrait mode, switch to landscape. It's allowed. In any examination, it's allowed. Don't worry about it. Switch to landscape. If you see a 5 mark statistic sum, you have to remember that it's going to be lengthy. Switch to landscape mode. It's not going to do any harm. Okay? So practice also in landscape. It's Either ways, it's going to take double space now what happens is if you have a sheet like this and if you do half the columns here and then start of the second half columns here these two columns are never going to match you are bound 85 percent times to make a mistake don't do it switch to landscape so fd square First is 441, 121 into 2, 242, 3, 3 into 81, 243, then last one is 361. Give me the total. First. <clears throat> one two nine zero now if this is coming to zero it's all right if this is having a positive figure it's good if it is having a negative figure do not freak out it is still correct it might happen so many after so many calculations it might happen the total of something is coming zero or something is coming in negative does not matter once you put it in the formula you will get the correct answer be patient don't freak out if it's negative and please maintain the negatives that we have. Fine. Always remember the negatives do not go away anywhere till it is squared. Fine. So you'll have to live with the negatives. Don't ignore it. Otherwise the answer will be completely different. Let's put it in the formula. So summation fd square. Summation fd square is this. 1 2 9 0. So first, D nikale, D square, FD square. Total of FD square, summation FD square, 1, 2, 9, 0. Divided by, what is capital N? Total frequency, that is 10, minus. Now, this square is outside of the brackets. So what we need here is summation FD. The total of FD, 0 divided by n again 10 now this whole thing will come down to 0 this thing only this portion 
so what we write do not skip a step divided by 10 minus 0 is equal to compute root over 129 use calculators will come down to approximately 11.35 maybe 34 something something you can always round it off at least two digits keep original otherwise you can round off any other digits you want <clears throat> fine now these two formulas that we have discussed are applicable to almost every other sum you take up any sum start doing it but yes some critical sums like uh, ungrouped method unequal class intervals those have some specific formulas now in different boards different syllabuses different formulas has been used so i cannot generalize the formula that you have to use because it will be much of a hectic i don't want to teach you like seven seven to eight formulas like you'll understand them individually but you'll mess up very bad so it's it's just of no use these two formulas are 95 percent times used these are the uh, like confirm formulas that are about to come i'm totally certain about it so these two formulas this this is the expanded formula used for continuous series grouping method and the first formula is for individual series use them score well best of luck for your exam and like and subscribe for these videos to stay updated with new videos and uh, soon economics for class 12 videos will also be coming up some accounts video will also be coming up and if you need help in index numbers or any harmonic mean or geometric mean series then uh, another sir has discussed amresh sir he has discussed each and every video each and every statistical and mathematical topic